I learned this as a young man going into Kosovo uh, and find, talking to these old Serbian farmers. You know, we we took Kosovo away from the Serbs. We bombed Serbia for 78 days. I didn't know this history. I'm showing up as a U.S. troop trying to secure the border. We, By the way, we secure borders everywhere else but our, but our own country. Yeah, and I, I remember that, that being, being in Kosovo as a young soldier. I was, you know, 19, 20 years old. And, um, you know, you talk to these old farmers and they'd be like, why are you? Why did you turn your back on us? We fought with you in World War II. Mm. And I'm like, I didn't know that. And they they remembered, you know, they're, why would you turn your back on us? So there's all these things that we don't know that lead up to these conflicts, but the media is like, "Hey, there was just this attack out of nowhere." Yep. <laughs> you know. Yep. Um, suddenly, 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 you know, it's kind of like nine eleven. There's, there's like nine eleven. There's like all of a sudden these people found a copy of the Constitution in a cave and went berserk. They couldn't th- couldn't stand it. They couldn't. They had to fly planes in the buildings to stop our freedom, and that's so stupid. You know, you look at what's happening here. You, you need to rewind it. Take a breath. Think about things for more than a minute. You know, don't let the commentators, the bloodthirsty Fox News or MSNBC or any of these psychopaths lead you to war because they love it. It's good for oh, ratings. Yeah, it's it's money. It bleeds, it leads. If it bleeds, yep. it leads. Yep. So I can't pretend to to know all the motivations behind Hamas. I mean, Hamas, I mean, recently, you know, uh, Jimmy Carter was in Palestine area, the oh, the Gaza Strip in Israel, promoting his book, you know, uh, Peace Not Apartheid. Like he was using those words. This is not that long ago, 10, 12 years ago. Uh, Jimmy Carter ca- caught a lot of flack for that because he was saying, look, we don't, we need a unification here, figure out how to have, you know, these two things meet politically. But, you know, the, it, the modern state of Israel, you had a lot of people that were displaced and that's where you get the Gaza Strip. And again, I'm I'm painting this with a broad brush, but you had a lot of people that were displaced by that creation of that mo- the modern nation state of Israel. And those people became what you want to you call them Palestinians because that land was was formerly known as Palestine. A lot of people will get mad at me and say there never was such a place. Again, I'm not taking a side. I'm not an anti-Zionist per se. I'm not I'm not pro-Palestinian. Uh, I'm skeptical of nation states um clamoring for war taking us to war and people not understanding the background here 